what gives the fans this uh, connection, is they can ride the same kind of things that we do and just kind of get a feel of the difficulty and then know that we're gonna do what they did even faster. And so they kind of have this bond with us maybe. Maybe, I don't know, I can't explain it, but the, the cycling fans are pretty diehard about it. <laughs> That's pretty nuts, actually. That's something you see on the tour. <laughs> we have all star cast and bringing Tor and, and, and Sumi here. And guys doing double takes, I'm like, I, th I think that guy won Perry Bay, you know? And like, Sumi being completely oblivious and not really caring, and Tor glowing everywhere he goes, because he's got the, you know, the rainbow stripes on his back. We got brought on the stage last night, and everyone's name gets announced. So you're like, oh man, I guess we got a pretty good team here. You know, when you actually, you hear it, someone else saying all the names that are here. Cycling in America is different than sports like basketball and football because athletes and fans interact so closely. Paradoxically, why it's becoming so popular. So in the spirit from which Beyond the Peloton was born, we're going to work harder than ever to keep rider and fan together amidst cycling's growing popularity. And no, we're not making Beyond the Peloton the movie. It's a big versus sports show filming the team a few days before the sixth annual Amgen Tour of California by the California-Nevada border. All eyes are on Team Garmin Cervelo, with an all-star cast new to be on the peloton, like Christian Vandeveld, who finished fourth at the Tour de France, and Andrew Talansky, Ryder Hedshaw, Tom Danielson, and Captain America, Dave Zabritsky, second at the Tour of California the last two years in a row, hungry for victory. I know what I have to do is have to go out there and fight. I mean, it's, not, uh, it's definitely not easy. And this race uh, this year is harder than it's ever been before. It's got two extremely hard summit finishes. And, uh, yeah, they're not easy. Yes, winning's important. But so is the bond between rider and fan. A relationship we'll focus more and more on in the episodes to come, even at the expense of the race itself. Fitting, because a snowstorm is calling into question whether there'll be a race tomorrow at all. Yeah, I don't know. I think the easiest thing would be if uh, it was just a complete whiteout, because that just makes the decision really easy. For, like, all right, we can't do this. Whereas if it snows a little bit, then they kind of think, well, maybe we can do something. 33-year-old Tom Danielson came ninth at the Tour of California. Many believe his biggest results are still ahead of him. From the Northeast, he knows all about riding in the cold. You know, your hands start, stop working. Uh, obviously, your legs, you can't feel. It's difficult to make decisions, and, and your whole world just kind of just goes up and up in flames, really. Even if it's snowing and we wake up, the riders are still a big question mark. Are we gonna do it? Like, we're the last to know, really. And it's, uh, you know, I'd like to know. Well, it's, it's snowing a lot here, babe. I don't know if we're gonna race or not. It's pretty, pretty confusing. Come on, it's lovely weather for us. Lay right together with you. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, let's go, let's follow the snow. You can be a bike handler as much as you want, you can do anything uh, against ice we have. Yeah. Tubular is 23, 25 millimeters, so what can you do? I mean, it's just, before you know it, you're already lying on the ground. I'm psyched just to be here and see all the stuff. I don't, I want them to be safe. Would you guys ride in this weather? I'd ride cross. Do you think there's a possibility that there could be a protest? And I was just talking to Axel Merckx and said that that'll be a, a decision that's made on the start line by the riders based on what's going on on the road at that point. Um, but this is definitely a situation where something like that might happen. 
we're waiting to hear whether the race is going to go or what, what's going to happen. We don't know yet, so we figured we'd, we'd kill some time here at the slots. Maybe we can get a camera car or something like that with the money we'll make. Ah, one more. What the hell? Uh, you're almost there. I'm so close, man. I, I can I can see the mega boxes. It's calling my name. I, I can't stop winning. We're driving along the course right now. I'm, I'm going down one of these descents here about the same speed the riders would be taking it. And this is not something you'd want to be racing your bike in. Still, some brave souls are out here. I mean, you can ride on these roads. It's, it's possible, but racing with a pack of you know, almost 200 riders, that's just madness. There were some people back there on the side of the road. They had a fire going trying to stay warm. It's going to be too bad for the fans who are out here waiting, but uh, actually I haven't really seen too many. The difficulty is, though, that the sun keeps coming out. And with the weather so hard to predict and so much on the line, it's a hard call for organizers to make. I know your style, so here's what I'm going to do for you. Describe today's stage in one word for us. This is unbelievable. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Dave Zabriskie, Carmen Transmissions. Unbelievable. At yeah. home during the winter, we ride all winter long. The Hammerheads in Oakdale, California. There you We're go. out there, we... Oh, it's nice. 30 mile an hour winds and rain. We get our rides in three times a week. Uh, these guys are all fine thoroughbreds and we're workhorses and maybe that's a difference. Would you like to ride your bike in this weather? No. We're on different teams. No, we are from Poland, that's why. We have to help each other. <laughs> George, does this remind you of anywhere? Back in Norway, probably. Can Canada. <laughs> We just had a bad accident in cycling and, uh, and we should learn of this and uh, when it's very condition like this, uh, I mean it's only a bike race so the, we, we, we should not start. After heated discussions and vain attempts to predict the weather, the stage is cancelled. Something very rare in cycling. Not an easy day for organizers, sponsors, townsfolk, and fans who traveled from all over. But after the tragic death of Wouter Wayland at the Giro d'Italia, everyone agrees the rider safety trumps all. There's seven stages left, and I mean, we just lost a rider recently, you know, and that was on a dry, nice day, so. I mean, I feel horrible for the for Andrew Messick and AEG and, and the Tour of California and the Amgen people who, who put so much time and energy into the, all this and, and have such a beautiful route to kick it off and have you know, absolutely nothing to, to walk away with it. So that, that hurts. The following day, the stage is cut in half, moved to lower altitude Nevada City, only about 100 kilometers from the Sacramento finish line. Obviously, everyone drove down here. It wouldn't have been a good idea to start where we were. You know, now it's sunny and a little bit chilly, a little bit windy, but, you know, but a nice enough day, so ready to race. That's over. Okay. He's got a GoPro on his head walking around. Yeah. <laughs> Nevada City, is that the best you can do for the world champion? It's nice today. Yeah. We gotta go sign, sign it over there. Yep, sign it right on top of the car. On the other car. Okay, that's yeah. the car. Yeah. It's a beautiful town. It is. This is going somewhere. Yeah. All right. Now here comes the rest of the Garmin team. 
Including the Christian Manuel, at Perry Roubaix, unselfishly giving up your chances to win the, the Queen Classic for your teammate. You didn't win that race, but you won the hearts of cycling fans everywhere for doing that. Today, we're watching you. Everybody's going to be watching you. This is a sprint into Sacramento. Are, are you ready for that? Uh, we had a, a, a strange uh, day yesterday. We didn't race, but today I'm ready, but it's uh, still uh, some other sprint to but I do my best, and uh, yeah, of course my goal today is to win. All right, well, we, we, we look forward to seeing it. World champion, Tor Hirschhoff, on the streets of Atlanta City. Today is a uh, sprint finish, hopefully, and uh, uh, we have Tor here. I need to pay him back something, and uh, maybe today is the first thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the first of many. Johan Van Summer, the winner of Baron Roubaix, here on the street. Hello, Atlanta City. And there's Dave Zabriskie in the distinct black jersey, and Oscar Ferre right behind him. And he asked the other riders to roll forth and join them at the start line. Three, two, one, and go! We're just headed to the finish. It's going to be a short stage. They don't have the strong lead-out train that they uh, have in previous years for for Tor, but you never know. He's pretty he's pretty resourceful. I mean, on his own, he's he's capable of winning a sprint, like the World Championships, which he won. This is what the Tour of California is about. We want some dry weather and some California sunshine. That's what we're all down here for. A little snow. No snow. We don't want some. Oops, getting pulled over. The race will finish with three laps through Sacramento. He came, he came all the way down from Portland. Yeah. Every year. It's a good, good place to see the pro riders and uh, get pictures with them and autographs. And it's a good time. Who are you hoping to get an autograph from today? Sure. Good job. And what are, you, what are you looking for him to honor about? Well, check it out. There he is right there. You think that Tor is a, a contender for today's sprint? or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If he stays in the front like that. Why, why, and why are you such a big fan of Tor? Why, why Tor? Uh, he's got a similar, I guess I've got a similar riding style. I like to push the big gears. So that's kind of the way Tor does it. Team Sky's strong lead-out team delivers Ben Swift to the line. Tor finishes seventh. But he still inspires fans like Don T. Bailey to push hard on the big gears of life. World champ. Very cool. Happy about that? That, that, was, that was worth it. That was worth that was the 12-hour awesome. drive. That is awesome. Easy. Hey. Hey. Dave, can you sign my hat? We're a big fan of these nuts. <laughs> well, the product anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Seen it? Seen it. You seen it? Yeah. All right. Cool. So let me uh, let me ask you. Where where are you from? Um, uh, Sacramento. Right here. You're from Sacramento? Yeah. You race some bikes. You ride bikes. What's I ride bikes right now. Just cyber racing. Thank you. Right on. It's nice. So who's your favorite on the team? Probably Heinrich. I kind of like his uh, attitude. He's a cool guy. So I met him last year. He's pretty awesome. It's a nice thing to have a like all these big riders come to Sacramento. Oh yeah, it's eh? really cool. Like uh, last year, there's a bike show out here. I was got to ride with some of the riders. So it's pretty awesome. Cool, man.